welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to film a quick tutorial. So I really just did the eyes and the lip color because my face makeup routine has been the same for quite a while. Um, if you want to know what I did use on my face, watch my previous tutorial and I did a chit chat get ready with me. I wanted to do this uh, really quickly so I just did a nice bold springy summery orange eye. I know this has been um, a trend somewhat on YouTube. It's been like the sunset-y eye but I didn't really make mine like sunset. I really just wanted to use a bold color and uh, the boldest one that I could use and play around with was orange. But yeah, I also uh, posted this look on my Instagram and you guys wanted a tutorial for it. So I decided to do it. Again, it's a quick tutorial so don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoy it and if you guys want to learn how I did this look, then uh, please keep on watching. For eye primer, I'm starting out with MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. You guys know this is my absolute favorite. And to set my primer, I'm using the Essence Matte Powder Compact. I've talked about this before, and it's just a translucent powder. So I am going to be going into my 35O from Morphe once again, and I'm going to be taking that shimmery satin shimmery shade right next to the blank white shade and just highlighting my brow bone. Then taking this light tan beige brown kind of color, this is going to go straight into my crease. I'm really just going to build this color up to the pigmentation that I want it to be, but I'm really focusing just slightly above my crease and just lightly buffing it higher and higher as it fades out. Then grabbing this orangey tannish color, I'm going to be adding this in my lower crease, blending that with the same color that we did use before. But um, like I said, this really is just all about the blending and I'm just going to really build up the color to what I want it to be. Going back in with the first blending brush, I'm just going to, again, blend those two colors together. You just want to blend, blend, blend away. Then taking this very light, palish orange, I'm going to take this on the same MAC 217 brush and add this in my crease and messily apply it up over my lid. Um, like this, as you can see, but I'm really building this color up because I kind of want it to act as um, Kind of the shade that we're going to be using next, which is this one. It's more of a burnt orange, but it's a very bright, it's brighter orange than all of the other ones in the palette, which is what I liked and wanted to go for. So I'm building this up on my lid, packing it on, then taking the MAC 217 with that lighter orange shade and just really buffing it out and making it nice and seamless. No harsh lines. It's, again, it's all about the blending. I'm just going to repeat the steps. I do have a tutorial up for how I do my winged liner, so now I'm just curling my lashes and adding the Pure Fully Charged Mascara to my top lashes. And the false lashes that I'm going to be using today, of course, are my favorite by House of Lashes. They are Iconics. And I'm just going to apply this with the House of Lashes glue and some tweezers. Taking one of the Avon Single Shadows, this is in the shade Champagne. I talked about this in my last tutorial as well. It's just a very nice white satin um, champagne color, which I really love for the inner corner lately. Then of course, adding mascara to the bottom lashes. Moving on to lips, I'm taking the NYX Lip Liner in Mauve, and I'm just going to line my lips with this. I'm actually going to be using and blending two liquid lips today. The first one I'm going to be using is the Kat Von D Lolita. This is just the first original Lolita, not Lolita 2. And I'm just going to apply a thin layer and then while it is still wet and drying, I'm going to apply Stila in the shade Caramello. I'm sure I'm saying that right, correct me if I'm wrong. But I'm applying again a thin layer and just blending them together with my finger to give myself a nice pinky mauve nude. 
It's been a very, very popular color, just like any kind of nude pinks. Um, and that's what I wanted to go for. And that's it. So that is it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you aren't already. Follow me on all of my social medias. They are linked down below or at the end credits of my videos. Um, I have lots and lots of new videos coming, you guys. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, I did ask um, on my most recent picture to ask me questions on that picture because I'm going to be doing a Q&A very very soon and a lot of you guys already have but if you want to ask me some questions go to my Instagram go to my um, picture on this look and um, you will see that I asked you and just ask me some questions that you guys want to know about me for the video. I love you guys all so so much and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys.